welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Some of you may have seen the video that I put out a couple of weeks ago where when I got a message that set the message flag in JS8, then I would get a text message on my phone alerting me. I'll leave a link to that video right up at the top. But today I wanted to take a look at exactly how I made that happen. So let's dive right into it. All right, inside of Terminal, let's go ahead and move to the Downloads directory by using CD Downloads. And we'll list out anything there, and it doesn't look like I have anything in the directory. Okay, so let's head over to the GitHub site. I'll leave a link for this down in the description below. And once you find my GitHub site, you're looking for the one called JS8 Alert. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on it. And then right here at this raw button, we want to right click on that and say copy the link address. And let's go ahead and move back over to the Pi. All right, on our Pi, let's use the command wget, a space, and then let's paste that link that we just copied and go ahead and hit return. All right, and let's clear the screen and list out our files again, and you'll see that we now have the JS8 alert script that I've written. So we need to go into the script and make a few changes before we can use it. So let's use uh, our nano editor or VI if you're more familiar with it. I'm gonna use nano though. So we'll say nano JS8 alert. All right, once inside the script, you're looking for this section right here at the very top, the user variables. So using your down arrows, coming down to this first line here, it says phone equals me. Now I'm using an alias here. If you want to learn more about aliases, you can go to this, uh, this link here and read more about using aliases with SMS GTE. Uh, if you don't want to use an alias, you can just put in a phone number. So you could use 615-555-1234 uh, as an example. And that's where the text would get sent to. Now the next thing you can change or you can leave as is, is the alert. So this is what the text message will actually say when you get it. Uh, if you do change it, make sure you leave the quotation marks as they are. Uh, and you can just delete anything inside the quotations and change it as you see fit. Once those changes are made, let's press Control X. Oh, tell you what, let me just make a quick change here. Let's let's press Control X, Y, and Enter to save those changes. Now we need to make the script executable. We'll do that by running sudo chmod plus x js8 alert and if you run the list command again with ls you'll see that js js8 alert is now green meaning that it's executable so let's go ahead and copy that over uh, to another directory so we'll use sudo cp for copy js8 alert We'll give it a space, and then let's say forward slash USR, forward slash local, forward slash bin, and hit return. All right, now that the file has been moved over to where it needs to be, we can go ahead and run it with JS8 alert. And the first time you run it, you're going to get a, uh, a message here if you don't have SQLite installed. Uh, so it, it's going to check, make sure that that's installed on your machine because it is a dependency for this to work correctly. Uh, I don't have it installed here, so it's just asking me, do you want to install it now? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Let's get that installed. And it may or may not ask you for your uh, root password. If it does, you'll have to enter it. Okay, now that that's finished up, let's just go ahead and clear the screen again, and we'll run that command again, JS8 alert. And since we don't have any message flags set in JS8, you'll see this command here, or this response here rather, no new messages. Uh, if it did have a message flag set, then it would go ahead and send out the APRS message 
using JS8. Now, in order for this to work, uh, you want it to run in the background and happen on an automated basis. So the next thing we need to do is get it in a cron job. So let's use cron, C-R-O-N, T-A-B, cron tab, space, dash E for edit. All right, and we'll come down to the bottom of the file. And we're going to ask Cron to check this every 30 minutes. So we'll say star forward slash 30 space. And then we need four more stars with spaces between each of them. Finally, we'll give it a space and we're going to tell it where to find the file. So forward slash USR forward slash local forward slash bin, forward slash JS8 alert. Now what this is doing is telling Cron to run this job every 30 minutes uh, for every day of the month, every month of the year, I'm sorry, for every hour, uh, for every day of the month, for every month of the year, and for every day of the week. Uh, so it's going to run it every 30 minutes with this. So now to get out, we need to press Control X, Y, and Enter. And you'll notice that it says here, installing a new cron tab. So now that command will be run every 30 minutes. Keep a couple of things in mind. In order for this script to work, you need to leave JS8 call open and the auto button turned on, or the auto mode turned on. Also, this sends a text message out using JS8 call. If a station doesn't receive your message and forward it to the internet, then you will not receive the text message alert. I find that about 90% of the time, the messages go through without any trouble, but there is that 10% of the time when it won't be heard. The way we set the script up though, it will continue to check it every 30 minutes and send a new text message out until you clear the message flag in JS8. After you clear the message flag, you'll see no more text messages go out. You could also mod this to do other things besides send a text message out. You could have it send an email instead. You could have it uh, operate a, a relay that was hooked up to your GPIO pins. There's a lot of different ways that you could use it, so feel free to mod that script for your use. Before you leave, make sure you click the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below if you've got any questions. We'll see you guys on the next video. 7-3.